right, I'm not left, I'm not Republican, I'm not Democrat, I'm not Libertarian, I'm a human f***ing being that wants the best What up, YouTube? It's Mike. I'm back with another story. As you can see from my thumbnail, I'm going to be talking about Lauren Boebert out of um, Colorado, the representative out of Colorado. Um, she was admitted to the hospital on April 1st. Um, to me personally, like when I saw the story, you know, I, I have a hard time believing anything I see on April 1st. Um, but I waited a couple of days and it, it come to find out she had a, a blood clot in her leg and had to have emergency surgery. Um, I, apparently she was diagnosed with May Thurner syndrome. I don't know a lot about it, but from the article here, it was saying it's fairly common in, uh, women, <clears throat> her age, um, especially women that have had children. Uh, Lauren Boebert is 37. So um, it does show that, you know, she she's expected to make a full recovery and get back. Um, so that's great news, you know, because this, this poor woman is just constantly bashed in the media. And um, it's because I, because she's a MAGA Republican, I... I remember when she first got elected um, in 2020, I believe she showed up to the Capitol and she was carrying her uh, 2A for those that may or may not know what 2A is, but she refused to take it off. She's like, I'm a congressman or a congresswoman. I'm going to carry it. Uh, she also wasn't with the, the mask uh, mandates and all that. Uh, come to find out she was correct on that too. But um because she she was a follower of Q. I'm not going to dive into that, whether you believe it or don't believe it or what, but she was a follower of Q. Um, she just got lambasted in the, the media. Um, but I also have went over to her um, actual uh, campaign page or the Lauren Boebert page. And uh, so just kind of going over a couple of her accomplishments here. Um and what she's doing so she's she's a big strong supporter of veterans here she has with the american legion um i'll go down to a couple of the latest news stories she is uh trying to block a 1.6 million dollar colorado land grab by the biden administration um that's a lot of land by the way um so she's she's directly trying to work with colorado you know, and for Colorado, um, she's working on restoring American energy dominance act. Um, that's a bill that they're working on. Uh, I don't think it passed yet, but she's working on it. And she's also a part of the house committee. Um, and they're, they've been working on impeaching Biden for his, uh, family t corruption and, in some of the, the family business practices overseas. Um, and then what I've noticed, you know, she's pretty active on Twitter and Facebook and she's, she's really responsive. So if you reach out to Lauren Boebert, she will probably respond to you. Maybe not the same day, but, um, you know, right here, it shows that she's responded to 50,000 plus of her constituents. So if you feel like, you know, especially if you're from Colorado, reach out to her cause she directly works for you. Um, but yeah, she's pretty active on X and Facebook. And here's a couple of her office locations, DC phone numbers for the DC office, for the Durango, Colorado office, the Pueblo, Colorado, and Grand Junction. So if you need to reach out to her, um, it seems like she's very accessible. She's um, she's somebody that we can't lose in office. We We absolutely need her. Um, my heart goes out to her and her family. Hopefully, uh, the surgery went well and we'll get you back into the, the house here real soon. Um, uh, we appreciate you here at the clip farm and, uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks everybody.